Steel as well, there was a company who had to do an inspection of all the steelwork and they didn't want to be throwing ropes over the top because they were concerned they were going to break the polystyrene yeah, stuff. Okay. So they ended up using a drone to fly lines over the top to then be able to pull ropes up. So eventually take work away most probably, you know, um, production lines have sort of vanished to robots. chat about drones because they've been in the game now for a few years. At the beginning I remember there was a few people quite um, averse to drones because they were afraid that they might take away work from the rope access technicians. It's been, uh, it's been pretty interesting seeing how they've evolved over the, the years. Um, I know that um, Atlas over in uh, WA they purchased a drone company uh, from mm. an inspection point of view. They were using a company um, to do some help with some of their inspections. And things like that, and they've uh, purchased their company Vertec, uh, involved with a, a sort of robotics company as well. They do a lot of sort of sub sea stuff with uh, drones, not really rope access, but still inspection work. Um, for me, I've worked with uh, some robotic, would you call them drones? Uh, they're inside tanks, so they're doing NDT inspections. So they've actually got a the ones I worked on this a few years ago, now they had a lead that ran back to a control unit, but it was basically a remote control vehicle and it went up the side of the of the Fire. tank on the inside um, but that was working side by side with uh, rope access because they couldn't do the outside because of all of the pipe work that was on there and they couldn't do the top of the uh, tank as well so uh, so we were doing the outside and then from a safety point of view it was really good because people didn't have to spend long times inside the confined space with your traditional drones that people know uh, flying around on the beach or wherever I've played around with them uh, on various occasions, getting ropes into locations, um, using some of the video footage on them is quite good now, so if you're trying to see how your ropes are going to land on something, if you're doing retrievables and things like that, I've used them oh, interesting. Uh, and I'm not sure if you know the, uh, the ski slope over in Dubai, no. um, so they've got the indoor ski slope and the underside of it is um, it's like a polystyrene because it needs to be insulated because it's quite hot in Dubai. Yeah. Um, but uh, just a few years ago as well, there was a company who had to do an inspection of all the steel work and they didn't want to be throwing ropes over the top because they were concerned they were going to break the polystyrene yeah, stuff. So they ended up using a drone to fly lines over the top to then be able to pull ropes up. So what I've seen of them, uh, they're being used sort of together rather than, you know, are they going to eventually take work away? Most probably, you know, um, production lines have sort of vanished to robots and, mm. uh, you know, are they going to take away everything? I don't think so. You're still going to need a set of hands to be there to do things. But, you know, interesting times ahead over the next sort of 20 years. But Do they do a better job than uh, a human would do? I don't know. Well, I guess. yeah, that, that's always the, uh, the question, is it with any uh, technology you're using? Does it need to be inspected afterwards? So, but that could be done by drones as well. Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff going on. The big one, especially in uh, Sydney, is getting your, because the airport's quite close to the city, if you're doing anything city-based, getting the approval that you can actually fly them yeah. um, wherever you fly them, near the harbour and stuff like that. So that's you know, just legislation and stuff that will need to be worked out. Have you seen anyone use them in the city for like facade inspections and things like that? The old AMP building near Circular Quay. Mm -hmm. And there was a drone company. So it was about 30 storeys and the new one's going to be about 60. They're about halfway through building it now. Going to be about 60 storeys, you know, your standard. This was pre-COVID. Shops at the bottom, offices and then apartments at the top. But the view is looking at the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House. So the drone company did photos of every for, the, level. For, the, for the top 30 stories yeah. sort of thing but then they couldn't do the bottom 30 stories so we went in on ropes and we had to we sent a rope down with markers every i think it was about 10 meters and we had to abseil down turn around take four photos abseil down because the drones couldn't get there and it was basically showing people what their view would be like on every sort of few levels uh, that was once again doing a doing something with drones rather than you know seeing it as a competition yeah absolutely